Sean showing you a maneuver that can only be done in the Oracle Challenger 3, the forward flip. And now, as they make their way down the show line, the Liberty Parachute team, and please welcome for the first time at Oshkosh, the members of the Canadian Skyhawks. They're slow, half rolling and upright. This is an inside, outside lift with a tumble at the top. The first half is inside, or what we call the positive G's. The second half is outside, or negative G's. Almost six negative G's trying to throw Sean out of the cockpit at the bottom end of that last maneuver. Positioning himself, himself to return to air and show you the maneuver which he calls the double hammerhead. Rolling to the left, now shoulder roll to the right, nose perfectly vertical, zero forward airspeed, and now hard full left rudder as Sean completes not one but two consecutive hammerhead turns. This aircraft that you see Sean flying is known as the Oracle Challenger 3. It was custom built specifically for Sean by our team over a period of 16 months because as Sean's skills continued to increase, he reached the limits of what our other aircraft was capable of. It weighs in at 1,225 pounds and powered by almost 400 horsepower, making it without question the most high performance aerobatic biplane in the world today. Now, as Sean begins the inverted flat turn, let's go live to the cockpit. Shawnee Tucker, are you with us? suggest that you get on your feet and get your cameras ready. Direct your attention to the runway in front of you. You will notice that there are three sets of poles out there. Suspended between each set of poles is a ribbon. Those ribbons are only 20 feet above the ground and they are spaced just 700 feet apart. Sean starts with his wheels only five feet above the ground as he goes underneath that first ribbon. Now, in the recovery, he is trying to find ribbons number two and three. Once in sight, he continues around and accelerates and dives underneath the third ribbon. Now, pulls to the vertical as he gets ready to show you the world's smallest inside loop. We call this the alley-oop. that he is determined that the show line is obstruction free and that he is now ready to make an attempt at slicing all three of those ribbons in one single pass in three separate flight attitudes. Converting altitude back into airspeed. Diving down to 18 feet above the runway, 220 miles an hour. Right knife edge through ribbon number one. Left knife edge through ribbon number two. And now inverted to shred that third and final ribbon. A maneuver performed by no one else in the world today. 
That is Sean D. Tucker's Triple Ribbon Cut. Watch closely now as Sean recovers this aircraft inverted. And then, at very low airspeed, performs a series of very small outside loops. Only Oracle offers hardware and software engineered to work together. Complete and integrated systems from Oracle simplify enterprise IT while delivering extreme performance. Oracle, hardware and software engineered to work together. Now for the third very small outside loop. Low speed, Sean pushing this aircraft all the way around. Now the half roll brings Sean up to momentary straight and level flight. A pull to the vertical, and then Sean is going to slip this aircraft down for his low altitude, low speed photo pass. And while he does that, let's go back live to the cockpit. Sean D, you are on. sequence. This is called the Harrier Pass, named in honor of the awesome power and capabilities demonstrated by the United States Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier. Now, while using only 70% of his available horsepower, Sean stands this aircraft on its tail and brings it to a hover in front of you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, showing you of all time. Put your hands together one final time for Sean D. Tucker and the one-of-a-kind aircraft known as the Oracle Challenger 3. Sean is the former winner of the United States National Advanced Aerobatic Championship Trophy. In addition, Sean is the first performer to ever win both the Bill Barber Award for Air Show Showmanship and the Art Show Memorial Showmanship Award in the same year. In 2005, Sean was honored by the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum as being one of the 25 living legends in aviation. And in 2008, at the birthplace of aviation, Dayton, Ohio, Sean received the highest honor that could be given to an aviator in the United States, and that is membership in the National Aviation Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said earlier, this is Sean's 20th consecutive year to perform at Oscar. So we cannot thank you enough for having us back. We invite you also to look us up online at teamoracle.com and also please pay a visit to Sean's Facebook fan page. Just keep in mind, he spells the first name S-E-A-N. Now, let's turn things over to my good friend, Mr.